In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of my favorite ways to, to basically just deal with the Mabel coverage meta in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to be able to know whenever we release a new video that can help you get better on either the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball or where we walk through some gameplay tutorial tips as well. So if you wanna get access to all of that content, just hit that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen. It's completely free to do so. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, I actually have been running a lot of trips tied in as of late. Um, it's one of my, it's probably my favorite offense, just like fun offense to run. Um, it, it's, it's not necessarily like a thousand times better than bunch or better than bunch tied in or not the, even those are better. It, it, they're, they're all really, really good. And the trips tied in is definitely one of the best offenses uh, in the entire game. And in this video specifically, I want to talk to you about how you deal with the double Mabel meta that has been happening, where basically people are putting their flats on 25, their curl flats on five, their hook curls on five, and they're double flatting both sides. What is a way that you can deal with this um, in a positive way? And so we're gonna be sharing that with you today in this video. We're gonna be talking about um, a setup that I like to go to out of the play drive post. We're in the New England Patriots playbook. And if you wanna get my entire New England Patriots guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description. If you just wanna get the trips tied in offense, I'm gonna also leave a link to that down below and you can get that for just 10 bucks. But this is basically the meta right now, guys. Um, you know, basically this right here, where we're double flatting, we're gonna use her in the middle of the field with our, uh, our user. So we're gonna put him kind of in like a little yellow zone. And then we're gonna have like an underneath uh, player, right? Typically it's gonna be someone that's in like a three rec so that we can take away the tight end delay fade. And then our big thing is we're typically gonna use her like a crossing route or something like that. That's pretty much the meta right now in the game. And so um, what's gonna happen is we're gonna force our opponent to have to choose one way or the other who he's gonna defend as a user. Both routes are gonna get open against a Mabel coverage display. And it's basically just up to the user who he wants to defend. And so the adjustments to this play is actually relatively simple. We're gonna smart route the circle receiver. We're gonna put the triangle receiver on a flat route, just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tight end, the X receiver, and we're gonna put him on a little streak right up the seam. The reason we like to do this is it's gonna clear out zones. It's also a nice little quick read if they are, uh, for example, if they're sitting over here with their user, um, then what you can do, if you have that tight end quick streak, then you'll see right here that we can just pop this streak right in really quickly, especially with a gunslinger quarterback, okay? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna force, and it's likely they're gonna be doing this anyway, but it's going to force them to really focus and really put their user over on this side of the field. This, is, this side of the field is where they're gonna have to at least start, and that's the key. Um, to this defense. Now, we're going to show you the first example, which is where the user is actually going to take the circle receiver, and we're going to check down to the square receiver. The reason I like this concept so much is a simple little levels concept. It really is a simple concept, but I love it because it's two different high lows and very, very effective. So, uh, first read is to the tight end, not there. So, we're going to look back side here, and we're going to see that the square receiver is going to get wide open against the Mabel coverage. The beauty of this is because of the flat route that we have that triangle receiver on, what's gonna happen is you're gonna notice that their guy is going to, you know, basically just drift back into the, the flat coverage, right? And so what's gonna happen as a result is you're gonna really pull that zone out of the way and it's gonna allow you to easily hit that square receiver. Now, what's gonna happen as a result of that is you're gonna notice that your opponent really has two different options. The first option is that he can put a, uh, a yellow zone over here on this side of the field. So we'll show you what that looks like here. And uh, we're gonna stick with our Mabel coverage, but he can put a yellow zone on that left side. And if he does that, then all we're going to do is we're going to kind of basically allow the play to kind of process. And we're just gonna check down, we're gonna pass through this inside and rack, catch it upfield and get a quick five to seven yards. And that's gonna force them to again, have to do that double Mabel type of defense. So now that they've set up their double Mabel type of defense, they might wanna do this, right? They might wanna drop the defensive end on the right side of the field into a hook zone. Well, 
we're still going to have a really good opportunity here because what's going to happen as a result of that adjustment is we can take that little quick inside uh, post route early because again, now they're going to really have to sit on that right side tight end streak. If they don't sit on the tight end streak, that's an easy read for us. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if they jump to the circle receiver, so if they're standing here with their with their their user, but they jump to the circle receiver and they have a yellow zone on the left side, we're going to see that that route right there is wide open. So it's a nice, easy, little quick read. And then the last thing that I want to show you is really the whole entire reason why we call this play. And that is if they are, if they then decided to do something like this, but what they're going to do is they're just going to use her underneath. Okay. So they're going to start on the post and then they're going to use her the underneath route. And so if you see that, this is a really nice little combo because what happens is on this right side, this route is going to get wide open in between that five yard curl flat and that 25 yard flat because uh, for multiple reasons but the biggest reason is because this running back is actually on a really special little route um, it's basically like a delayed ghost route and so he's gonna pull um, he's gonna really do a good job of like holding the underneath zones onto him you're gonna see they're gonna sit right on him and it's gonna leave this nice little window to hit Devontae Adams this is why the trip side in is so good. It has answers to everything the defense is going to do, whether it be Mabel coverage, whether it be zone drops, whether it be match coverage. And if you want to learn exactly how I would recommend running the trips tight end offense, then you can get my full trips tight end offensive guide down in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.